Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I am the author of the young adult novel Essence and soon to be published novel I Am Mercy. And today I'm going to be starting a new sort of series of videos where as you can see the title is just, oh my gosh, a book I read! Anyways, anytime I read a book that I really, really, really like, I'm just going to make a video about it where I just kind of talk about it. No spoilers, don't worry, but I'm going to talk about why I love it because, you know, the best book reviews are the ones where you gush about the book. And then I also wanted to say that I will leave a link down below. I recently started a Facebook group where people can kind of just post things about books, gush about books. This is a place where you can post your favorite quotes, pictures of books, Book reviews, if you have a booktube channel yourself, feel free to post your most recent video on there. And I will be posting my most recent videos on there when I gush about books. And frankly, I just like looking at books and pictures of them and, and shelves and such. And I want other people to do it as well. So it's not just me who's going to be posting. It will be you guys as well. As long as you're a member of the group, you can post something. So again, that will be linked down below. But anyways, today I'm going to be gushing about this book, Invincible by Amy Reed. This is a story about Eri, and she is diagnosed with a terminal cancer. She is basically told she has months, maybe weeks to live. Because of her cancer, she has been completely secluded from her friends at home and her family. But she has made other friends with the other kids in the hospital who also have cancer. So she basically comes to terms with the fact that yes, she is dying. Of course, her family doesn't feel quite the same way, but she has come to accept it. They stop radiation, they stop chemotherapy and all that, so she can just die in peace. And when they do that, she actually ends up healing completely. Like, it's a complete miracle. And then when she goes home, she just cannot adjust to life again. She feels like she's a different person, she can't talk to her family, she can't talk to her best friend from before she got cancer. Even her boyfriend, she feels like, is not the person she fell in love with, even though he's completely the same, but she's different. Things he used to do that she would love, she now is annoyed by, and that sort of thing. And she ends up slipping into drugs. <laughs> and things to kind of numb the pain even though the physical pain is gone but there's a new emotional pain there. Now this book I was kind of worried about when I first got into it because it was really emotional and I just couldn't handle the emotions that were coming to me. There are actually very many dog-eared pages and places where I underline quotes where she was basically just throwing out the fact, hey, I'm dying and I don't really care anymore. But then as we see her getting healed, we see the anger there where she kind of doesn't want to live. She had put up the good fight with the cancer and now she's just given up. She doesn't want to do it anymore and in the process of giving up, she ends up living and she sees it as kind of unfair. Now there is a little bit of a love story in here. I don't want to talk about it too much so I don't give away any endings and there's a lot that goes on and I just don't know how to describe it without spoiling anything. I was actually sent this by Epic Reads and it's an advanced reader copy so it's not the perfect copy. There were a few spelling mistakes in here and little weird typos that I noticed but it was really good and I honestly think I am going to buy the actual copy so I can have it in hardback. And this is also the first book in the series. I don't know how many books there are going to be, but it says right here, um, Unforgivable, which is the second book, comes out next year, 2016. So now I have to wait until then. And let me tell you, I'm dying because if you read this book, you will understand because they like literally stop mid-seat. Anyways, that's why I love this book. If you guys have read this book, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't read it and plan on reading, also let me know. Because, you know, I, I'd like to talk to other people about this book. And I will be posting it on that Facebook page I told you guys about. So thank you for watching. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Mm -hmm.